so this module is one of the important modules of complex integration so in this module we will implement all of our knowledge that we have developed so far to see how to evaluate contour integrals now let's first recall that what we have achieved so far so we defined what are contours so a contour is basically a kind of piecewise smooth uh, curve so it is composed of many many smooth curves and they are joined in such a way that uh, the the tail of one curve is joined with the head of another curve and up to so on so for example in this case this is c1 this is c2 this is c3 this is c4 so this contour c is basically c1 plus c2 plus c3 plus c4 and similarly we we saw many examples of contours and then uh, we developed we saw a way to evaluate contour integral if we have a complex valued function f of z and we want to evaluate this uh, function along the contour c then that's how we evaluate it so we have this integral and uh, basically this integral is the integral of a complex valued function of one real variable t and uh, the limits of integration are from a to b and uh, of course we are integrating it from uh, z of a to z of b and the direction of motion is from z of a to z of b so that's how uh, we evaluate this contour integral and of course one last thing is that this integral is basically uh, involves this function f of z it involves this contour c and uh, of course if you change this function f of z then the value of this integral is going to be changed if you change uh, this contour c then in general uh, the answer is going to be different now we will see these things in much more detail in our uh, future modules that under what conditions uh, this contour c uh, doesn't matter and uh, the only only initial and final points uh, of uh, contour matters and similarly other discussion now as i've told you that uh, this definition involves uh, the integration of a complex valued function of a real variable t and the limits of integration are from a to b so uh, for that we need to know how to evaluate or how to integrate complex valued function of one variable over the real interval a to b and then in uh, one of our modules we discussed this thing we defined this thing and we saw different examples for this uh, integral so you just integrate real part and imaginary part separately now uh, moving on let's combine all of these uh, uh, things and uh, let's use the knowledge of all of these things contours and uh, evaluating of contour integrals and evaluation of uh, complex uh, uh, integrals uh, of uh, complex valued function of one variable let's combine all of these things and evaluate this integral now the function uh, that we want to integrate is uh, exponential of z and the contour along which we want to evaluate is a line segment from the origin to the point a plus iota b so what do we uh, need so let me write down the definition and uh, this will tell us what do we need to in our first step so f of z of t z prime of t dt now uh, this way of evaluating tells us that i need to know the parameterization of this contour c so that's the first step we need to know the parameterization of this contour c so what is this contour c so it is basically uh, a line segment the initial point is the origin and the final point is a plus iota b so basically initial point is zero the origin and we are moving towards a plus iota b so we want a parameterization of this line segment and uh, uh, once again uh, we have seen this in our uh, previous modules how to find the parameterization of a line segment initial point is zero final point is a plus iota b so if the initial point is z naught and final point is z1 then the parameterization of this line segment is basically z0 plus t z1 minus z0 and t varies from 0 to 1 
so what we need we need to do in this case just use the value of z0 to be 0 plus t and uh, just use the value of z1 to be a plus iota b a plus iota b and z0 is 0 so this is going to be equal to t a plus iota b and t varies from 0 to 1 so that's parameterization of our line segment or the contour in this case once again the geometrical condition is satisfied because it is given that it is a line segment from 0 0 to a plus iota b and it is the line segment where the starting point is 0 because when you put t is equal to 0 then you get the origin and when you put t is equal to 1 then you get this point z1 so you are moving from 0 to the point z1 so this is the direction of motion okay so uh, that's what we have achieved we have the parameterization of the line segment and uh, from here once again the formula tells us we need the derivative of this parameterization z prime of t now let's use all of these values and let's evaluate this uh, contour integral so the variation of t is from 0 to 1 so we have 0 to 1 and we have uh, okay so let me write down here again how do we evaluate this contour integral so this is going to be equal to f of z of t z prime of t dt and the limits of integration are from a to b so in this case t is equal to 0 to 1 so the limits are very clearly 0 to 1 and f of z of t so f of z of t means wherever we have z we just replace z of t in place of z so here we have z so we just replace z of t in place of z so we have uh, exponential of z of t and just multiply with z prime of t dt so let's use all of these values so what do we get exponential of z of t so z of t is a plus iota b t so a plus iota b t is here and z prime of t is a plus iota b so this is z prime of t so this is basically an integral of a complex valued function over the real interval 0 to 1 and we also know that how to evaluate this function okay now let's move on and let's see how to evaluate this function now first of all this a plus iota b is constant so we can just write it down outside the integral okay and uh, what are we left inside the integral so exponential of a plus iota b t and once again uh, we know that uh, the integral of this is going to be a function such that when we take the derivative of that function we are going to get this function so uh, using this uh, uh, argument we can easily write down then the integral of this thing is going to be equal to exponential of a plus iota p t divided by a plus iota b okay so 0 to 1 is the limits of integration now let's use the limits of integration so this is going to be equal to exponential of a plus iota b minus exponential of 0 because this is the upper limit this is the lower limit here of course we are using the fundamental theorem for complex integrals now further simplifying this it's going to be equal to exponential of a plus iota b minus 1 so that's uh, a very simple uh, case uh, where we have implemented all of our previous knowledge about contours about uh, a way of evaluating contour integral and a way for evaluating uh, com integrating complex valued function of one variable over the real intervals so this is a uh, first part of our examples in the next modules we will discuss some more complicated examples